Hiya, I'm Simone Radley from England and Nails and in this video we're going to be doing gradient nail art. So recently I have done a set of blue gradient nails um, for one of my lovely clients. Joanna will put a picture somewhere so you can see it. And I've seen quite a few on Instagram, it's obviously a thing, so who knew? So we're going to do that. I'm working on a long ballerina fit tip and I've done a base coat already of I, oh, move that, I want one own which is Serenity, so it's a nice light blue. So you need to start off with, so whatever colour you're going to do for your gradient, whether it's a blue one, pink one, green one, whatever, start with either you can do a white base or a really light colour. So I'm going to do a blue one, so I started with a light blue. Obviously if you was going to do pink, you'd start with a light pink and so on and so forth. And then the other colours I'm going to use are I171 Cerulean, it's quite a bright blue and then I156 which is retort white. So it's best and I like to do it by mixing my colour because if you just pick like a load of blues um, they're all going to be like different tones and stuff and I think it's better if you keep the same tone um, it just basically goes from dark to light. So I'm going to use my 15ml liner brush to do my lines with because it's my fave and I need a dotting tool. Obviously, I wasn't very organised, was I? Dotting tool. Oh, I like to normally mix it with a big dotting tool, but this is the one I've got, so. So I'm going to decant some of my I-171 onto my silicone pad. Quite a lot. Spread it out a bit as well. So I'm just going to use it as it is to do my first line. So I'm going to run my brush through. Now by using eyelac and a liner brush, you're not going to get like a thin, thin line, which is, I don't want that anyway. Um, just because your, your paint, your eyelac will ball up on your brush because your brush is so thin and the eyelac is, it's quite thin as well. It's not a gel paint for painting lines with. So you're not going to get like a super duper thin line with it. But as long as you roll your brush through and you get like quite a good coating on your brush, you'll be fine. So I'm just going to whiz that line straight down. And you can do your gradient however you want. You can start on one side and go from sort of dark to light. You can mix it up a bit. You can do it however you want to do it really. So I'm just sort of neatening up my line. Obviously we are going to do another line next to it as well, which you'll be able to neaten up with that. So don't stress too much. So I'm going to wipe that into Flash Cure. And while it's curing, I'm just going to do a little mix. Oh, so I'm going to decant some white from my mucky bottle. Now I'm just going to use my dotting tool and grab a bit and mix it into the blue at the edge. I don't want loads at this stage, I just want it to be like a shade lighter. So if you need to add a bit more blue in, just scrape a bit in. Yeah, that's not bad. So yeah, you just want it like a shade lighter. Make sure obviously that you wipe your brush. Now I'm going to get this out and do the same. So I started a bit of sort of a bit in from the edge because I'm going to do a line down this side and a line down that side. I've started it obviously further over to one side than the other because I'm going to go really light there and I'll just get a bit light at this side. I just thought it was nice as a bit of a change rather than just going right from dark here to over to light there. So again, roll your brush through your paint. And then you want to come right down the edge of what you've already painted. as neat as you can. And 
And then do exactly the same down the other side of your first line as well. Then stick it into cure. And while it's curing, I'm going to come along and add a little bit more white. So I'm adding it to this lighter blue bit that we've already mixed. But if you've not got enough, you might need to drag a bit more of your original blue in. And again, you just want to go basically a shade lighter. I'm just going to take this out so I can compare it. So it wants to be a bit lighter still. Just a little bit, not a lot. And then just repeat what we've just done. Like a line each side. Oh, oh I've dropped my brush. Mayday. Oh my God. Oh, it's fluffy as out. It's picked up all sorts off the floor, that has. My God. Ugh. Wipe your brush. And we're gonna so now wipe that in the lamp to cure. And while it's curing, obviously, we're going to do our next mix. Clean the dotting tool first. Bit more white. Just going to compare it to what I've already got. Is it lighter? Just about. I'm going to add a tiny bit more white. Now, same again. Add your lines in each side. We've just got enough space there on that side to do one more. We're going to do that one first. Get a skinny little one down here. And, by the way, I am not claiming in any way to have invented this nail art or come up with it myself. Um, it's been about for ages in different forms. It just seems at the minute to have made like some sort of revival. Make sure you go right over the end bit as well. Wipe that end to cure. Do our next mix. So now we've only got one side to go down because I filled that side in. So we've just got the one side. And there's only really space for maybe two more goes. We might get two more. Wipe that in to cure. Do our next mix, add a bit, one more dollop of white. So I'm only adding like each time like one blob of white basically. And it's getting less and less polish. So start with a decent amount in the first place. Just got enough to do what I want. So I'm gonna add in this I think will be probably the last one actually. Oh, maybe not. I might get a tiny slither on the edge maybe. That bit that's left on the edge is too tiny. So I'm going to fill it with this colour because it is too small. It would be pointless. Oh, I love it. Right, put it into cure. So now we've got our fabulous blue gradient going on. The question, as always, has got to be shiny or matte? Joanna thinks shiny. I don't know. I'm going to do both. So I'm going to do both for you and I'll take a picture of both and Joanna can put them up so you can see both ways. Because I, I don't know, I don't know. I feel like it will be good, Matt. It's a hard one. But I'm going to do shiny first. With the ultimate no wipe. So this is it shiny. Excuse the state of my terrible nails. Now that we've seen it shiny, I'm going to paint it matte. And see what it looks like. Right, I'm going to use... The velvet matte. Is that the right one? Yes. 
And we'll see what it looks like with a bit of my action going on. Oh, 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 yes, yes, yes. That looks blooming great, Matt. Can you see it? I think it's all very shiny. It does look good. It does. Oh my god, my blue tack's melted in the lamp. Blue tack melt. It is about three hundred degrees in here. Are you warm? Um, just a little bit warm, yeah. <laughs> a thousand degrees. So I'm going to stick out my thumb so we can have a good look. I really like it, Matt. I think that looks really nice. Yes, yes, people, I'm here for it. So there you go. That is how I do my perfect gradient so it all looks beautifully seamless. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe. What's the other one? Ring the notification bell. Ring the notification bell so you don't miss anything. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.